All right, peace to the true ones. Now listen to this. Remember how I told you that the world's governments are being ran by artificial intelligence right now. All the leaders are dead. It's artificial intelligence running this program, okay? Now listen. Remember I told you that the war is really us against them, God versus the <laughs> the evilness on this planet. Now he's going to say something very interesting, okay? He's going to say they don't know who's doing these bombings that are happening in Russian territory now. They don't know who's doing this. And I've been telling you that we're doing this. We have the capability to, to blow whatever we want up. We can blow whatever we want up any kind of way that we want to do it. Okay? Now listen. Okay, let me show you some other there's all this video coming out of this um so i want to show you some of the newer videos um rob lee also posted this another video of that apparent ukrainian helicopter strike on the oil facility in belgorod with rockets i was very skeptical when i first heard reports of this but there are multiple videos showing some sort of airstrike yeah when i first heard this report i was like I don't know. I mean, so I actually posted about over an hour ago, I believe, I posted these Ukrainian sites had been reporting that an oil depot was on fire in Belgorod. And remember, uh, a couple days ago on Tuesday, an ammunition dump actually exploded in Belgorod, Russia. And it was unclear what caused that. So now I wonder if this was caused by Ukraine, could the ammunition dump explosion in Belgorod have been called, caused by Ukraine too? But Rob Lee is a military analyst, and he's saying there are multiple videos showing some sort of airstrike. Now this one I haven't even watched yet, posted by SHOT. Uh, let's see here. Hang on one second here. Let's see. Yeah, right there. See? Look at that. Right there. Right there. Wow. Wow. They don't know who doing this shit. I mean, this would just be just incredible if this really happened. If, if Ukraine really flew helicopters into Russian territory and 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 fired on a Russian uh, a Russian um, oil depot and, and 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 again now I'm wondering there was a couple two days ago on Tuesday there was a explosion at a at an ammunition dump in Belgorod a Russian ammunition dump and it wasn't clear what caused that okay let me just show you there's all these reports coming out about this yeah it's very very interesting <laughs> but let me tell you something real quick We've been fighting them. They've just been hiding the war. Okay? They've just been hiding it. Now, it's very interesting because this popped up in my, uh, on this day. And look, they're hiding a the picture that I shared because we've been fighting them. Okay? I said on April 1st today, this is, ain't this wild how this happened in a year later to the day? Look at this. We've been at war for a very long time. They're making it look like they're fighting each other, but they're fighting us. They don't want the public to know they're at war with God. Okay? Look at it. It looked like a dragon. That shit looked like a dragon. Look at the fire. Looked like a dragon bent over with his long neck to a curve burning that shit up that ain't no fucking missile launch look look at it again higher and higher because it's coming out the dragon's mouth this shit wild y'all it's right in y'all face the whole war is in y'all face the whole war this just happened that's a dragon we've been we've been working we're gonna keep on working until these motherfuckers gone peace to the true ones